Hello everybody, welcome back to Glowing Card Gaming and week 7, picking against the spread. Uh, so, as you know by now, I do this every week. Um, I'm getting a lot better about actually getting these videos out during the week and not um, after some of the games have already taken place on Thursday and Friday, um, depending on what time of the year it is, that kind of thing, um, or early <laughs> early Sunday or whatever it happens to be. So again, welcome to Tuesday night, and we're gonna go uh, go ahead and make all of the picks versus the spread this week, week seven of the 2024 NFL season. So, um, and I'm going through trying to improve and get better so you know if you have suggestions or comments please feel free to leave one of those be sure to like and subscribe also the important thing there is to also share the video out so other people can like and subscribe as well um, just moving the camera around a little bit and getting a little more comfortable in my chair all right, so let's get into it. Week seven versus the spread. So Thursday night we got the Denver Broncos at the New Orleans Saints. Um, you know, th this I'm sure is one of the games that they predicted Denver to win even before the season isn't <laughs> sneezing even before the season started. Um, so I am going to say, even with the minus three, they could have beat the Chargers last week. There was two things that really stopped them from scoring a couple of touchdowns in the first half. One was the strip fumble on the 50. Denver was actually moving pretty well um, I think they were going to drive down and score at least three, you know, and then it would have been like seven to three or maybe it was 14 to three at that point. But even if, I mean, they could have gotten in and gotten a touchdown and then it would have been 14, seven. They had another drive where I'm not sure why some of the penalties that were called were called and the announcers were the same they were like uh, that doesn't look like offensive pass interference and there were a couple that were clearly defensive pass interferences that they didn't call anyway home hometown guy this this back here Broncos Nuggets Rockies I don't have an abs one I need to get an abs one anyway all said and done Denver is a better team than last week showed. They should have beaten the Steelers. They should be 4-2. Um, a couple games back of the Chiefs. Now it looks like the Chiefs, pr unfortunately, will win the AFC West again, even though they actually do not look that great because I felt like the Chargers should have beaten the Chiefs two weeks ago. So... Going down that line of logic, the Chiefs are actually the third best team in the AFC West. Uh, I think Denver, and and Denver is going to keep getting better. So I think by the time, and the sooner the Chiefs play the Broncos, the better for the Chiefs. If they play them late, like week, I, I haven't looked at the schedule, but I'd say by week 12, if the Chiefs are looking at a healthy Broncos team, Chiefs lose. And if they play them again later, like week 17, it's two losses. The longer this Denver Broncos team goes, the better they are going to get. And if if the Denver Broncos manage to get in the playoffs, watch out. They, they could possibly... I know they looked a little flat in the first half last week, but if you look at that second half, phenomenal they were the team they they look like the team in that second half that they should have been uh 
Chargers only score three points in that second half. Denver coming back, you know, had they scored a touchdown in the first half, um, that game is at least overtime, if not a Denver win. That's just the way that was coming down. Anyway, all that being said, the Saints are just bad. Broncos are better than their 3-3 three and three record shows. Easy pick there, I think. Um, I also agree with the line on this game, the next game, Patriots at Jags. Um, in London, the Jaguars seem to have London kind of figured out. But is it is it a five and a half point figured out? Um, I think Jags probably win this by four. So I'm going to go with the Pats for the line, for the points. And I think the Pats are just a little slightly better than the Jaguars, and that might make them more even going into London. Um, Vikings and Lions. Boy, this... This one right here, Vikings and Lions. This is going to be the tough game to call. Um, this basically is a it, this is a coin toss. This is a coin toss. Who do I think is better? Um, well, I think the Lions are better, but the Vikings are at home and they are undefeated and they're playing with that undefeated record. I mean, nobody except the 72 Dolphins has gone undefeated. Um, and I swear if the 72 Dolphins played in the league, this league, with this these rules, they wouldn't have been undefeated. I don't think, I don't, well, you go long enough, you're going to see everything happen. So another team at some point will go undefeated. This could be the Vikings' first loss. But they're in Minnesota. I, I think the Vikings are playing too good right now. Although Detroit did play super well last week and crushed. Um, I can't remember who they played, but they won by almost 40, 40, 40, 40 points. You heard me right, 4-0. For that reason, I, I, I keep wanting to pick the Vikings. Because they're undefeated, and I want to go with that. But I really am feeling like the Lions are going to win this. I'm going to go with the Lions. I, I just can't help or shake that feeling that the Lions are going to are gonna win this. Um, this might be the toughest week. Uh, to pick because now that I know all the teams and I know how good and bad they are, um, I think they have a lot of these these lines or the spread set perfectly. Um, so it makes it really hard to call. I think the Texans are better. Again, there's a few things, a few deals you can find here. I think the Texans are better than everybody's given a credit for. They... I think they're a better team than the Packers, just just slightly. And I think that should probably be reversed. I think the Texans probably win by three instead of the Packers, but we'll we'll see. That's why it's why they play the games. Um, Colts at home. Miami not as good as I, I I picture them to be. I still have that seventy point loss um, or. 70 points that they put up on Denver last year in my head, thinking they're a really strong team. They did make the playoffs last year, but they just don't look good this year. I don't know what it is. They've lost that spark. They've lost it. I'm going to go with the Colts on that one, only because they're at home. That's the only reason. Um, the Bills and Titans. This, this one looks like... Again, they got the line correct. Um, are the Bills going to win by nine? Aren't they rolling right now? And Tennessee is so bad. 
Is Vaughn in the lineup? I can't remember if Vaughn's still there. He, I know he had some legal problems, and I don't know if they were going to suspend him or not. I bet he is in the lineup because they have a uh, nine point. They are a nine point favorite. I do think that the Bills kind of roll in this game. They probably went up by twenty. So ten. I mean, it's tough for me to pick that many points to give away that many points, but. I think the I think the Bills are are gonna do it. Um, the Seahawks and Falcons. I want to start with the Seahawks here because the Seahawks kind of showed the the they aren't quite as strong. They're kind of played out a little bit. And Atlanta seems to be better than I think a lot of people are giving them credit for. And and they just, Atlanta kind of needs more of a, a pass rush. I think somewhere I heard this week, they, in their first five or six games, they've had like one sack per game, so they only have five or six sacks. Even so, they have a great offense, and I think I heard that they picked up a couple of guys this week that are going to improve them. And they're at home versus kind of a mediocre middle of the road Seahawks team. So I'm going to pick the Falcons minus three on that. Now we have a real battle for futility here. The Cincinnati Bengals, the Cleveland Browns. Ugh. I don't even know what to pick here. Um. You know, when in doubt, you pick pick the home team, and also, I do think there is a, a huge advantage to giving one team points. So, even if they lose, you still have that cushion, whereas the Bengals have to not only win, but win by six um, to, to get the win. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick Cleveland plus five and a half. No, no real reason for that. Um, both teams are just kind of not, not as good. Um, now we have the Eagles at the Giants. Uh, and by the way, neither one of these teams are making the playoffs. If if you're making that bet, you're you're giving away your money. Just just donate to my channel. <laughs> One day when I have enough subscribers, um, you can do that. But not today. Anyway, um, on to the Eagles-Giants. See, the, I thought the Eagles were going to be more of a powerhouse than they are. And they just have kind of, they're kind of like the Seahawks. They, they've kind of fallen flat. But on the other side, you have the Giants who are just not great. Um so do I think the Eagles are going to win? Yeah, probably. And they're probably going to win by more than three. Uh, I would think that's true. Um, Carolina at minus eight. I think the Commanders are going to do it. They're good. They're better than the Eagles. And Carolina is just so, so bad. I think Carolina might be the worst team in the NFL right now. It's hard to say. The Rams might be right there with them. Um, they are just so bad. That's why, I mean, this is an easier game to pick because you know Washington's going to win. W will they win by more than eight? Probably. Probably. And on the other side... You have the Raiders Rams who are just both bad. Um, the Raiders are away at LA. Um, is that really a uh, away game for them? Anyway, I just thought about that. Um, I I'm gonna I, I hate picking the Raiders. I hate it. 
but I'm trying to get wins. I'm trying to climb back above 500. I'm not going to give away a game. I'm just not going to do that. You know, when in doubt, you pick, you pick the, you get the points on top. And the, this is another game I'm just really not that sure about. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the points. Um, this one is interesting because they have the Niners favored by one and a half, and I've kind of been picking those better teams to beat the Chiefs. Uh, I just there's something about the NFL and the the penalties being called that just invites a Chiefs win. They they always get a key call that's really tiki tack in a key moment. Like the Niners will have just scored like a 50 yard touchdown, but they'll throw a flag just as he's crossing the end zone and then say, oh yeah, offensive pass interference or holding or something of that nature. But the flag's really late. It's it's as the Niners are scoring, but then, you know, it'll be second and 20 or, or third and 20 or whatever it's going to be, third and 15, or, you know, and then they got no shot and the Chiefs will stop them and then they'll, they'll turn it over and the Chiefs will go down and score and it's like a 14 points. It's very very strange the way that works for them so that being said uh i'm gonna play this one for the refs i'm gonna i'm gonna pick the chiefs one and a half because of the refs not because i think the chiefs are better than the niners i don't think they are i don't think they could actually beat the niners in a fairly contested game but i i don't I think you're going to see the, the uh, Chiefs get favorable calls once again and probably win that. Um, just It's just the way the NFL works sometimes. Um, although, you know, the, the Chiefs have to pick up. And same thing for Minnesota, the Vikings. They're going to have to pick up some losses at some point. Three or four. That's probably all they're going to get. But I think the Chiefs will probably lose against Denver later in the season. Um, we'll see what happens. Chiefs, one and a half. Moving on, uh, Jets, um, Steelers. Yeah, Jets got a, a receiver. But there's still the Jets. I don't, I don't understand why that gets them three points. Um, and the Steelers at home. And I think they're a better team. Yeah, we're going Steelers at home there. We're going to do, here we have the Ravens and Buccaneers. This is very interesting. Three and a half. This is a coin toss. I can feel it. Either the Ravens are going to win by four or, th or th three. They're going to fall on one side of that line or the other. I, I just feel it. Um, I think the Ravens are just slightly better than the Buccaneers. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the Ravens on this one. And then um, we'll move on to the final game. Now, again, I think the Chargers are better than they gave them credit for. Uh, I think the Chargers could have beaten the Chiefs. I think the Denver could have beaten the Chargers. So one, two, three, right there. Uh, Broncos, Chargers, Kansas City. And that won't get reflected until the playoffs probably. But that is the picks for week, what are we, week seven. Sorry. I got lost in the last video because um they had week six or week seven pulled up and it was last year 2023 so now i'm kind of off on everything so but in the end those are the picks that's what's that's what i'm going with and again trying to keep these a little shorter and just not give too much 
uh, thought to why just picking on the strength of the teams as I've seen them playing through the season. Um, not not trying to think about it too much or overanalyze. Um, just making those picks. So there you go. Those are the picks for week seven in the NFL, according to Glowing Card Gaming and yours truly, Adam. Uh, once again, thank you for joining me. Be sure to subscribe, like, notification. Most importantly, share it out. Subscribe and share. Important. All right, thank you. And once again, be good to each other. I'll see you next time.